Right now I'm going to talk about whether or not it is um, best to request a guardian ad litem in a custody or divorce matter and I have to let you know that the role of the guardian ad litem varies from state to state. In the state of Alabama, guardian ad litems receive special training and certification each year to ensure that they are up to date on the most current um, case law and changes in the laws that are coming about and to let you know that if you get the right guardian ad litem they can be great for your case they can be super effective but you need to have somebody that's really diligent um, and that takes their time with the child gets to know the child gets to know the family gets to know the whole situation and in order to do that I think that um, the guardian ad litem needs to see the child in a variety of settings, whether it be at the school, um, at the home, you know, at a park. They need to get to know that child inside and out and the family structure and dynamic inside and out in order to be able to make an accurate determination from the court. Um, and having that said, you know, I have had cases where I have had to ask guardian ad litems to step aside or um, I have had to file motions in some cases to appoint new guardian ad litems if the current guardian ad litems were not doing their job. Um, and there's been some cases where, you know, I've had, especially in juvenile court, guardian ad litems not doing their job and I've had to request, uh, I think, three or four of them on one case. Um, and that's just because, you know, that's something that's very diligent, that, that, that the work that needs to be done, you need to be diligent and you need to be passionate about it and you need to know enough about the child, about their background and about their family situation and the family dynamic in order to make an accurate um, assessment and give that accurate assessment to the court and in Alabama the guardian ad litem can give their recommendation to the judge and the judge can use that in their decision to decide you know who gets custody and where a child is placed and whether or not a child you know um, ends up in juvenile hall they can use those recommendations for so many things in Alabama and so you need somebody that's going to have the child's best interest at heart and and what the child needs at that point in time um, in mind and you're gonna want somebody who's going to know about all the child's needs especially if DHR is involved and say there's maybe foster care um, involved in that type of thing then you're going to want a guardian ad litem who's going to advocate for that child make sure that that child gets all of the um, assessments done that they need that that child gets all of the resources to which they are entitled that that child needs and that type of thing and it really takes a lot of work but it's really a special line of work and I applaud those you know who are guarding at items on a regular basis who are willing to step up for their children for the children um, who are their clients and make sure that those children get you know the doctors that they need and the specialists that they need and the therapists that they need and you know get on the proper um, um, school schedules and learning schedules and and you know go to their IEP meetings and stuff like that I think that you know if you get a guardian a good guardian a lot of them that loves what they do they can be indispensable if you get a bad one it can be horrific to your case so you need to make sure that when the judge appoints a guardian ad litem that their role is understood and that they do everything that they can for the child whether or not you know that is the same goal that you have is one thing but um, you need to make sure that they have the child's best interest at heart and not the parents best interest at heart and not one parents best interest at heart to the detriment of the child okay um, and so I recommend a guardian ad litem more times than not especially in high conflict cases um, where the parents just can't get along and everything like that and I also in some um, instances would recommend a parenting co coordinator as well um, to step in um, and 
also mediation if, if applicable. So, but yes, um, if you get a good guardian ad litem, I think that they can do wonders for the child. And um, I think that they will work hard to get the best goal, you know, to get the best placement in mind for the child. But they also need to be aware of the resources and everything that the children or child in the situation needs. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below and I will answer them like the page, share it with your friend, like the video, share it with your friends, visit my webpage www.hddclaw.com that's www.hddclaw.com you can call me at 251-943-4870 and as required by the Alabama State Bar no representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers as well. Um, i got to inform you that um, nothing in this video is to be construed as legal advice as we do not have a attorney-client relationship um, at this time unless you have a fee agreement and engagement letter on file with me and you are a current client. Thank you very much.